All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello everyone, this is Itzian with Bladebridge and today I'll be demoing our Informatica Power Center converter, specifically to convert to Databricks SQL and Databricks Python, but Spark SQL. Before I start, just a few words about Bladebridge. We're a company that specializes in software that automates ETL and code conversions. So let's get started. Everything that you will need for conversion will be directly on our portal. You can also see um, all of our other converters and source to target technologies that we cover here at Bladebridge. But um, once I get everything that I need, I I usually create a folder that will have everything that I need for conversion. So my configuration file, which I'll go in more details a little bit later, my inputs, which are um, direct exports from Informatica Power Center. We will take a look at those jobs uh, before converting. And then my output folders, my executable that I found on my portal. And I love creating bat files. It just makes, in my opinion, everything a little easier. Um, for readability, I added these variables, um, but this is basically what the command line would look to convert something. It's, it's the um, executable, the license file. This is something that we'll provide to you given that you want to use our services, our product. And then the input, um, the uh, Informatica job that we want to convert, output folder, the technology we want to convert to, and um, the configuration file, the main configuration file. And I like to redirect my output somewhere else. You don't need to worry about that. Um, so let's take a look at the input. So for the mdemo load one, it is basically this job here. We have uh, a few unconnected lookups. We also use um, uh, in, uh, parameters in our source, as you can see here. Um, so we'll see how we deal with that in Databricks. Um, then we have expressions, unconnected lookups, connected lookups, more expressions, and eventually a target. We'll also take a look at um, another job, this one specifically, which um, has update strategy, filters, aggregators, and an expression also. just so you can see how we handle an update strategy. All right, so let's take a look, let's get started. Um, so first thing I do is make sure that I'm in the right repertoire. Then I will just refer directly to my bat file. This will generate straight SQL. And we chose to um, externalize our um, uh, configuration file here at, at Bladebridge to allow our clients to change the pattern and how things were being converted at their own choosing. We did not want people to work in a black box solution. This is really the power of um, our the Bladebridge products. We allow conversion um, to whoever is using our product just by simply putting it inside the configuration file. Um, all right, so this converted. Now that, it, let's say that I wanted to convert to um, Spark SQL. So this will still be a SQL. However, it is going to generate a Python file. Um, and just for consistency, I'll also change it to which folder it gets generated. It always takes a few seconds. We'll also take a look at our um, configuration file later and I can, and uh, just show you a little bit more about that. We allow inheritance and um, um, there are different main sections of the configuration file that will be important for any clients using our products. Um, but if you don't want to worry about it, you can also just use the black the, you can download it from our site and just use um, our configuration file as um, a um, way to get you started. All right, so let's see. Um, let's start with the Python file. So as you can recall, 
we had a bunch of parameters in this job specifically. So in Databricks, we actually come and we create widgets. We consolidate all the widgets on the top of the file. We create, um, we create, we wrap the SQL into a data frame. And whenever we see a uh, parameter, we interpolate it in these brackets and we add the format here. So this is how the syntax of conversion goes. And uh, until you reach to the end or it inserts into the target and uh, we display just so you can see how conversion is being done. Um, all right, we can also take a look at the update. So um, this one here, the update strategy, um, it goes into two parts. We will, um, depending on the action that is required, we will update, we will insert and then update and delete as requested on the update strategy node. So this is how we handle it here. Um, here we can, um, oops, oops, sorry. Yep, and so we create an insert. Uh, okay, yeah, here, of this strategy is right here. So we insert, and then on this one specifically, um, we create the update node to then use that node in um, the merge process here. Condition two, which we created right here. Oops, right here. All right, well, this is just a sneak peek as to how our converter works. Uh, we handle maplets um, and a lot of different components like routers um, and on connected lookup as you saw. Um, we can take a look at the configuration file. So the main, the two ones that we called are these two right here. These are the top level configuration file. So if we take a look at the PySpark one, for example, um, see the target file extension that we changed, hard-coded to a Python file, as this is Spark SQL. Um, the variable declaration, so this is exactly the syntax of the widgets that we, um, that we have at the top of the file if they are present. And the table creation statement, so how we want it. So the data frame name with the Spark SQL and just the syntax that we're using here. The comments, I don't know if you, uh, if you notice the comments that we're, that we're leaving at each node, but they're right here. And um, yes, we also have the ability to um, load custom converter modules. We do that in more complicated um, um, conversion. But one thing that I wanted to show you guys is inheritance right here. This is very important. So um, this inherits to this master file which actually contains a lot more information and contains a lot more of the conversion. I do not want to bore you with all the details, um, but uh, there are main sections is line substitution, which works in rejects, uh, block substitution, function substitution. These will be contained in um, the SQL converter config file.